Hello everyone, uh, have a good day. Uh, today we'll be uh, continuing our discussion on the microeconomic, uh, microeconomics uh, concept. So as a sort of review, last time we discussed about the, uh, the interaction between the demand and supply, by which uh, we show uh, the uh, graph or the functions of the supply and demand interacting each other and uh, by which because of the interactions of the demand curve and as well as the supply curve so we would be able to uh, determine the uh, equilibrium price at the perfectly uh, competitive market and we also uh, discuss a different uh, factors affecting the supply by which the supply would be able to uh, move to the left or move to the right and as well as uh, how the demand curve or demand functions would be able to move to the left and move to the right and uh, there are some different uh, shifters or factors for supply and demand okay so uh, today we're gonna be uh, continuing our discussion on the uh, the cost of production in the microeconomic sense of uh, view all right so uh, without uh, further ado let us jump in directly into our topics so let me uh, show this slideshow so so we have uh, the cost of uh, production well uh, in any uh, in any uh, firms or any uh, businesses so there is always uh, cost of uh, productions to produce an output so we need to have an input not this input okay the cost of production when we say cost we're talking about sa mga gasto no sa mga kwartang atong gamiton kung magproduce ta og something so the cost of productions so under this uh, topic we're going to be uh, discussing the total revenue well uh, do not uh, do not be baffled with the term revenue because it is uh, uh, synonymous with uh, sales. No, when we say total revenue, we're talking about the total sales. No, okay. So total revenue, total cost, and uh, profit. Uh, in any production or in any uh, business endeavor, so we are always looking after uh, the maximum. Uh, possible maximum profit. No? Kung magnegosyo man lang ta, o niya, wala dahi profit, so it's better to stop it. Because um, palugi man lang. No? So we are always uh, looking after uh, the maximum profit at the maximum uh, input. No? Asa ma ang pinaka the best nga puhunan para na ako ay uh, the best profit. Okay? That's okay. So, uh, we assume uh, the, f uh, the firm's goal is to maximize profit. Now, in a firm, in industries, ang atong goal is to maximize profit. Now, this is always our goal kung magnegosyo ta, no? So, in a firm, in a businesses, uh, be it large firm or a small industries, always looking after how to maxim maximize the profit. And how to maximize profit, Okay. So, when we say a profit, or ginansya, no? Profit, we're talking about the total revenue minus the total cost. Kung atong halin, with the total sales, total revenue, atong minusan sa ato ang uh, gasto, kung positive ang resulta na, nagpaila nga, naatay, uh, naatay, itawag aning uh, ginansya, no? Kay kung, uh, Kung ang imuhang total sales, imuhang total revenue, minusan nimo sa imuhang imuhang total cost, unya so walay gilan siya. So meaning to say, uh, lugi ang negosyo, no? So yun nga ang buti pasabot. Okay. Uh, so profit, total sales, so total revenue, minus total cost, if it is positive, ang resultaan niya, then there is a uh, profit no kung kung ang positive man ang resulta ning duha no ang total nga halin minus sa total gasto kung dako pa imong total nga halin kumpara sa imong total nga gasto total cost so, na ignan siya so, klaro na siya 
So uh, it's not uh, debatable now, so that's very... When you say total revenue, we're talking about the amount a firm receives from the sale. Uh, so amount of money no, received from the sale of its output from the sale. Total sales is the total revenue. When you see a total cost, we're talking about the market value of the inputs. So value of the inputs. Okay. Pila ang imong puhunan, inputs, no? Inputs, it could be uh, labor, it could be uh, uh, money. So, for as long as it is used in uh, production, it will be considered as inputs, no? Kung sa production sa farm, it could be uh, fertilizer, variable cost, no? It could be uh, seeds, anything that, uh, that is uh, needed uh, to produce, Okay. So, total cost, the market value of its inputs, a firm uses in production. Okay? So, kung ang halin, pareho lang sa total cost, so, tabla. Break even. So, wala siya ay ginansya, wala ay lugi. But, uh, kung mag maghago ta, niya, tabla lang, wala siya ay uminto, wala po siya ay uh, kunhod, so, mas mayroon nga, uh, stop na lang ta. Kay, na, Hago pa niya, wala man di ay, wala man di ay profit. Okay? So, tingnan po that, total revenue is the total sales, total cost, that is the value of the uh, inputs uh, needed in the production. And profit is, of course, ang uh, subra, kung ang imuhang halin, menusan sa imong gasto. So, profit yan. Okay? So, there are some uh, other cost. We have, uh, we have uh, explicit cost and implicit cost so these are cost now when you say explicit okay when you say explicit cost we're talking about uh, a cost that requires an outlay of money so kailangan siya actual ang outlay of money that is an explicit cost so explicit klaro no ang kwarta nga kailangan okay uh, for example ang um, bayad sa labor sa mga workers Bayad si mga raw materials sa pag-produce, no? Uh, anything that, uh, that entails money in the production is considered as explicit cost. Example, yan, yan nga, sabi dito, paying wages to workers, no? Mga salary to workers as examples of explicit cost. Okay? So, anything that entails money is considered explicit cost, no? On the other hand, when you say implicit cost, Implied, about the word implied, no? Uh, Im uh, implied. Okay? Implicit cost do not require a cost outlay. It, do not, it does not require a, a money, but it is considered a cost, no? So, implicit cost do not require a cost outlay. Example of this, uh, the opportunity cost of the owner's time. Diba, kung ikaw ang tag sa sa firm, ikaw ang tag sa kompanya, so na kay tao nga giswilduhan. So, katong tao nga yung magiswilduhan, ang katong, katong cost, explicit cost yun. Pero ikaw nga manage, ikaw nga tag-iya, kaningad to ka sa imuhang kompanya, nibisita ka sa mga tao, actually, walay swildo sa imong sarili. No? Uh, kay ikaw ang tag-iya. So, wala mo swildo yung sarili, Kaya ang swil ang imuhang kitan aw ang katorong uh, gilan siya. So, ano mo swilduhin mong sarili? Pero bisag wala na mo swilduhin mong sarili, na'y oras ng imong gigahin sa imuhang kompanya. Katoon ta nga oras, kung imong gigahin sa lain nga trabaho, naon na ito'y market value ang imong oras. Katoon nga oras ng imong nagasto dito sa imong kompanya, nga wala ka swilduhin o actual nga kwarta, considered as implicit cost. No? Uh, example, ikitag iya na nagtanom ka og kamatis. Yan nag naguna ka sa imong kamatisan. Gisulduan ba nimo imong sarili? Usually no, dili na to silduan na tong sarili. So kana nga cost kitaw nag implicit cost, implied cost nga wala nag nag ha, nagbayad sa kwarta pero naa siya panahon nga gigamit nga unta katong panahon nga yang gigamit sa iyang uma, magamit na tay sa laing trabaho dito sa uban nga masulduan unta siya. So that is implied cost or implicit cost. So, take note for that. That, uh, uh, those are the cost, no? 
And uh, those costs, yung mga implicit or explicit costs, it will affect our profit, no? Uh, Makapikto siya sa ito ang mga ginansiyahan ka ng mga cost. Okay? So, because of that, we have uh, economic profit and accounting profit because of that cost, no? So, when we say uh, accounting profit, we're talking about uh, the total revenue, total sales, no? Minus total explicit cost. So, din sa accounting profit, Ah, uh, di ba yung tagilina profit is equals to total cost. Ah, sorry. Account uh, profit yung tagilina is total revenue or total sales minus cost. But uh, dito sa accounting profit, uh, wala nila gi consider ang implicit cost. So this accounting profit gitan aw lang ang ang explicit cost. Katulang actual nga gibayran og kwarta ang gi considered as kanang gasto sa puhunan. So kana lang ang gitan aw. So, sa, because ana, kay wala man gi-appeal ang uh, implicit cost din sa accounting profit. So, we'd always expect ng accounting profit taas kumpara sa economic profit. But, uh, what is an economic profit anyway? Okay, economic profit is so to, uh, the total revenue gya total sales minus total cost. Uh, total cost, this time, including explicit as well as implicit cost. So, ang imong total sales, minusan nyo sa cost sa imong explicit, niya, minusan pag-ibig mo sa imong cost, imong implicit, so that is now the economic profit. Uh, on sa on na ito, paghibalo nga muna ang implicit cost. Okay, uh, for example, ako na ako'y uma, nagtrabaho ko sa kong umahan, isa ka adlaw, ako nang baliuhan. So, pila ba ang adlaw ka ron, kung sa uma na ako? So, at present rate, so, baliuhan ni mo imo sarili, bisa bag ikitag iya, i-considered to ni mo appeal sa cost. So, tungod ana, taas og total cost din sa economic profit, kaya appeal man ang implicit cost as well as the explicit cost. So, it is expected na baba ang economic profit kumpara sa accounting profit. Kaya taas man og total cost sa economic profit, kaya appeal man ang implicit cost. Okay? So, accounting profit ignores implicit cost. So, it is higher than economic profit. So, in terms of value, in terms of computation, ang economic profit is taas ang iyang value kumpara sa... Ah, sorry. Ang accounting profit taas ang iyang value kumpara sa economic profit because doon sa accounting profit, wala may appeal si implied cost. So, gamay ra i-consider na cost dito sa accounting profit. So, I hope it is uh, clear for you now. Okay, so again, we have different cost. We have explicit and implicit cost. And because of that cost, we have also different accounting profit considering the different cost. Okay, let us proceed now. Okay, now, uh, let us uh, discuss about the uh, production function. Just like the demand uh, function, the supply function, uh, when we say function, we're talking about the graph, the curve, no? We're talking about the graphical uh, presentation of the data. The graphical presentations of the production uh, variables, no? Or curve. Other term, no? The production curve, production function, production graph. Considering the input as well as the output. Okay? So, production function... Production function shows the relationship between the quantity of inputs used to produce a good and the quantity of output. Okay? So, we're talking about the uh, inputs okay, and outputs. Now, what is the relationship of inputs and Outputs. Inputs now is uh, mga capital, mga abono, mm, anything that is required in production is considered as um, inputs, no? Okay. Excuse me. Muna. Okay. Uh, 
let's go back. All right. Okay. Uh, a production function or a production graph or curve shows the relationship between the quantity of inputs used to produce a good and a quantity of output. So, ang production function usan ni siya ka graph, graphical presentation nga makita ni mo didto ang uh, gidaghanon sa inputs nga imong gigamit unya pila puy abot, pila puy uh, quantity ana ang output. Ako uh, pila quantity ana ang aning output base ani nga input no in uh, production. Uh, it can be represented by a table no. Ang production could be a table or a schedule. It could be a table or a schedule. Okay, or a, sorry. Schedule. Or it could be a, so ang, ang, ang production can be expressed in a table. And that table can be plotted into a graph, no? Into a graph. And that particular graph because we're talking about the relationship so that particular graph uh, must have an equation because uh, kung ato siyang i-graph so mayroon siyang line there must be an equation of a line or equation of the curve and uh, uh, as we can recall in our basic uh, mathematics so we have uh, equation of the line equals y equals mx plus b you know? we have the slope we have the intercept but uh, I don't know if you could still recall that but uh, when we say uh, equation, we're talking about equation of the production uh, schedule or equation of the production function or e equation of the production graph. Okay? So we have example in here in production function. So we have a farmer jack grows rice. So ang commodity niya, yang he produce is rice. Okay? Yeah, he has a 5 hectares of land. 5 hectares of land uh, is considered as the uh, fixed cost, no? e, at least in the short run. Okay, in the short run uh, time, in the short period of time. This is the fixed cost on 5 hectares of land. And he can hire, uh, Jack can hire as many workers. So workers now is uh, input, no? laborers, input laborers or workers in the production is considered as input so that uh, jack can produce rice so without worker so uh, it is uh, very very difficult for jack alone to grow a rice no he needs uh, uh, resources from the uh, household such as labor so that uh, there must be uh, somebody who will work in uh, jack farms to produce a rice okay this is an example so ang fix ani fix ang area of hectares pa mag vary ang workers no depende kung magdaghan ang workers possibly daghan ang abot pero ang iyang abot limitado lang sa gidakon sa iyang area okay kung maabot na ang potential sa iyang area nga gidaghanon nga abot bisan pag magdungag sa tao magdungag dili na gid increase ang abot kay do na lay maximum capacity ang web hectares kung hataman ang yung kaya sa production. Okay. So, okay. Example, farmers, jacks, production function. So, remember that. Recall that. Jacks is uh, uh, owners of a firm in rice production. He hires laborers from the household, you know, in a five hectares of land. Now, for example, uh, let us look at this one. So, this is now the uh, production schedule. This is the production uh, schedule or the production table of Jack's rice uh, production, okay? So, si Jack, kung mag-uma siya, niya, bisag naa siya ay 5 hectares, so niya, wala siya ay worker, wala magtrabaho, of course, wala siya ay humay nga ma-produce. Pero kung mag-hire na siya o isa ka-worker, ipatrabaho siya yung 5 hectares, so it expected na mayroon siya ang production na uh, 1,000. Okay? Pero kung uh, feeling niya ka ng iyang 5 hectares, ka ng 1,000 uh, kilos of rice, iyang 5 hectares, kulang pa na. Pero maulang na iyang maproduce, tungkol ka isa lang iyang tao. Pero nakita niya kung pa-increase yung tao, possibly ma-increase pa ang iyang production. 
nga mas taas pa sa 1,000 na kilos of rice. So, kaya, gusto ni Jack nga mapadali, mapakuan siya, mapa, makaproduce siya ng hayo sa isa ka tao na 1,000. Kunya, kaya nag-utuo siya ng ayang 5 hectares na apay, na pay potential nga makaproduce pagdaghan nag-hire siya additional nga tao gikan sa isa gidong nga isa duha na mauna nga ni taas yang production ang iya na siya marginal uh, increase in production because nag increase man siya input sa laborer no nga which is isa ka tao okay kunya nag produce pud siya pawati niya ang ang 1800 is dili pagid dili enough para sa yang farm pwede pa makaproduce og daghan so nagdungag na po siya, isa ka tao, aron tulo na iyang ka tao. Nya, sa tulo ka tao na nagtrabaho, nakaproduce na siya, 2,400 kilos. So, nang support, nagdungag, nagdungag, nagdungag. So, nag-increase ang iyahang production, matag-increase sa iyahang laborers. No? Kung ma-increase yung number of workers, dito, sa labor, nag-increase po iyang Q or quantity, base sa ginaghanon sa iyahang workers. Nya, Kini nga production na uh, schedule or table, kung imo nang i-plot, so mo ang resulta na yun, no? the production uh, function. <coughs> For example, uh, asa, ano, sa, sa, sa number of workers and the kilos of rice, ang dependent variables ani is ang kilos of rice. Kaya kung magpadaghan ka og laborer, maglihok-lihok man ang gidaghanon sa imong abot. So, ang dependent variable ani is ang production. Ang production sa rice nagdepende sa number of laborers. So kung dependent ang Q, so ang quantity of output should be put in the Y variable. Kasi ang dependent mo ng Y variable, Y variable. Y variable. <coughs> Nya, ang imong number of workers kasi man ang naka to sa production, ibutan siya sa, sa x-axis, no? sa x-axis. x-axis, y ang... Okay. <coughs> Kaya mo i-grab, kung walay worker, so zero worker, dito, zero po ang production. Kung naa siya isa ka-worker, so na isa ka-worker, ito, naa siya 1,000 nga uh, quantity produce sa yang rice. <coughs> Nya, kung maduwag siya duha ka laborer, uh, duha, maduha na yung laborer, dire, so ma-increase, mahimo na pong uh, 1,800. This is 1,800. Mahimo na pong, na pong 1,800 bags ang ilang ma-produce, no? Nya, kung maduwag na po siya isa, aron mahimong tulo, ka-workers, so dahil ang iya production, mahimo na yung 2,000 400. Nya, kung imo abot og upat or lima hangtod nga mo mataas mo taas ang imo hang uh, abot. Pero kung imo makit imo bantayan, <coughs> kung imo mabantayan no, uh, ang yang increase nagkababa no. Gikan din sa 0 to this among there is among quantity of rice, 0 diri ang yang yang difference diri is 1000 ang difference nilang dua. Ang diri po, ang difference diri is 800. Nya diri, ang difference diri is, pila man? Uh, 600, no? 600. Nya, ang difference diri na po, is 400. Then diri is, ang difference is 200. So, meaning to say, ah, uh, Pero magkataas ang imuhang abot kung magdungag ka o na kaya magdungag ka o laborers, magdungag ang cost of inputs, pero meron mataas. Pero masigdungag, pataas, pataas, ang pag-increase sa imuhang output, the output is increasing, but the increase is decreasing. So, katulad nito, look at this one. So, nagdungag ka, uh, increasing na eh, 1,000, 1,800, 24, 28, 3,000. So this is increasing, no? But the difference between uh, between uh, uh, this scale, ang iyang increase igna is nag decrease. Kaya primero niyang increase is one thousand, ikaduhon niyang increase is eight hundred, six hundred, four thousand, and two hundred. So although the output is uh, increasing, 
but uh, the marginal uh, output increase at a decreasing rate so like, although increase this yeah but the increase is decreasing okay Kung yung matanahon, ang production increases, increases, but the increase in production is decreasing. So, kaya nga, kung yung matanahon ang curve ni Re, so medyo abot sa tumoy, nidungo siya gamay. Hangtod maabot siya siya ang pinaka-peak, bisan pag dungagan pa ng daghang tao, steady na lang na ang iyahang production, o even mo ang imuhang ginansya, mababa pa kung magpadayan ka. So, sa aning nga case, kung tanahon ni mo, uh, nagbaba ang iyang increase. So, this is the example of the farmer's jack production function. So, i-graph lang ang iyang i-graph lang iyang table mo na yung resulta. Actually, kini sila, pareho na sila, no? Kini siya nga table o kini nga graph, the same lang nga information ng ilang process. So, uh, I hope na klaro, no? So, klaro na yan. So, yun ang, ang uh, production function. So, we also have a uh, marginal uh, product. So, when we say marginal product, from the word marginal increase, this is an increase in uh, product. Okay? So, marginal product is increase in product because naka-increase sa imong input, naka-increase in capital. Kung mag-increase mag -increase in capital, katong increase sa capital, Nag-expect na ito ang increase ato sa iyong output. Okay? So, the marginal product, if Jack hires one more worker, okay, kung duwag sa isang worker si Jack, his output rises, yes, ang output rises by the marginal product of labor. So, uh, ang, ang imong production mag-increase because nag-increase man ang imuhang labor ang imong worker no ang imong inputs nag increase man imong punan nag increase man so you have to expect ng additional uh, output due to your additional input okay so marginal product okay the marginal product of any inputs is the increase in outputs arising from additional unit of that input holding all other inputs constant now, for example ganina uh, gikan sa uh, wala siya laborer wala siya si Jack wala siya laborer ang iyang production is zero karon magduwag sa isa ka input isa ka laborer nagduwag sa isa ka input that is the marginal uh, input kana nga marginal kana input dunay gidahom nga increase sa output which is uh, the marginal product so marginal product is the increase in outputs due to a one unit change in an input no holding all other uh, factors constant sa example the jack ang constant niya dai is iyang farm so ang iyang abot magusab uh, usab iyang abot kung magdungag kag cost of, uh, cost of inputs mukha ang, 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 ang abot magka increase sa uh, increasing inputs but the increase is decreasing uh, so, kung magduwag ka og additional labor, mag-expect ka additional output of that labor. That is the marginal product. Dungag nga abot. Tungod sa dungag nga labor. Marginal product. Increase or difference or change in product. So, we have some notation in here. No? Uh, we have the notation of delta. Which is change in. Okay. Change in. Or it could be a decrease, it could be an increase. No? Change in, it could be a decrease, it could be an increase in output. Now, examples, we have the change in quantity, uh, change in output. No? The change in output is a change Q, or delta Q. And change in labor, or change in input is delta L. So, ato uh, siyang i-represent uh, para dali masabtan. So, the marginal product of labor is computed as ang the marginal product of labor o ang dungag nga abot because of the dungag nga labor is or the MPS computed as change in uh, output due to change in input divided by the change in labor. So, QL, uh, uh, delta Q and delta L is considered as the major product of labor. So, there are some examples in here. 
So let me here now. Sorry. So example, uh, the total product and the marginal product. So for example, uh, the same as uh, Jack Rice production. We have the number of workers increasing from 0 to 5 workers. So nagdungag, nagdungag siya ang worker. Of course, nakita po din mo, nagdungag, dungag. Nagka-increase, nagka-increase po ng yahang production. Uh, when we say the marginal, uh, pag-compute ng marginal product of labor is uh, delta Q divided by change in labor. So, delta Q is change in output, no? change in output due to the change of input which is the labor so this is the formula now let us compute now the MPL okay so MPL is defined as a change in the in uh, output divided by the change in input ito no no so the marginal product of labor is the change in uh, change in output due to change in input which is labor. Okay, for example in here, so atong change in labor dili from aning a point, no, aning a point is 0 and 1, ang difference or change is 1. Nya dito naman sa production, 0 and 1,000, the difference is of course 1,000. Nya alam natin ang MPL is equals to change in uh, output so, ang change in output dito is 1,000. Did by the way, change in labor the portion is 1. So, 1,000 divided by 1. That's why our uh, our uh, marginal product of labor is 1,000. 1,000 divided by 1 is 1,000. So, ganun din, no? So, dito nga portion. So, ang change nila din, eh, 800. There is 1. So, 800 divided by 1 is 800. So, ganun din, ganun din dito. So, dito, ganun din, no? Ang ilang change is 600. And output, 600. Ang change ng input is 1. So, kaya nga 600. Ito. O, ganun din, no? The difference between uh, this one is 400. Okay. Dahil, 400 divided by change in uh, input, we have 400. 400. So, dito naman, ang change ito is 200. Ang change kami is 1. So, 200 divided by 1 is 200. So, this is now the marginal product of labor. Okay? So, the marginal product of labor equals the slope of the production function. So, uh, katong kining uh, siyang uh, graph, production function, ito, mayroong slope ito. So, the merong slope. Okay, ang slope nito, so marginal, marginal uh, product of labor, the marginal product of labor equals the slope of the production function. Notice that the marginal product of labor diminishes as L increases. This explains why the production function gets flatter as L increases. Okay? So, magka-plot, magka-plot, and there is a bow later on. Oh, why marginal product of labor diminishes? No? Uh, paabot, mag-increase, mag-increase din. Paabot sa babaw mo. Mag-actually siya dungo. So, in this example, no? Uh, diri, ga-increase ang MPL. Pero ga-decrease diri, no? Yung abaw later on, mababa na siya later on. So, the question is, why MPL uh, marginal product of labor diminishes? Because farmer's jack's output rises by smaller and smaller amount for its additional worker. Why? As jack adds workers, the average worker has less work, less land to work with, the, which will be uh, less productive. No, kung yung area is five, five hectares lang, kung mudang mudang sa tao. So, ang, ang naalay maximum production ay sa hektarya, niya, doon ang siyag tao. So, jack adds workers. The average worker has less land to work. So, gamay na ang bahin-bahin para sa tao ang mag-uma, no? So, worker has uh, less land to work 
with and will be less productive. So, less productive kung sobrang nakadaghan. In general, the marginal product of labor diminishes as yield rises. So, magadaghan ang labor inputs. So, magkababa po ang value sa itong marginal product of labor. So, in general, again, the MPL diminishes as the yield rises whether the fixed input is land or capital. So, magdiminish gid na ang marginal product of labor. So, that's why we have the diminishing marginal return. So, ibig sabihin, uh, naka isa kaktarya, abunuhan ni mo isa kasako, unay abot. Dungagan mo isa kasako, mataas ang abot. Tulong kasako, taas ang abot. Lima kasako, mataas. Pero ang pagtaas sa abot, nagkanahinay o kunhod. Hangtod maabot sa punto nga, bisang pag napulo na kasako, may ibutang ang abot, dili na mo change. Butangan na mo kinsi, ang abot hinon, mudungo na hinon, kaya nangadaot na hinon, ang tanong ganahin, toxicity. So, mag-diminish no? So, diminishing marginal product, the marginal product of an input declines as the quantity of input increases, other things held equal or lasiteris paribos, ang giingon pa dati. Okay? So, I think uh, we have to stop muna up to the as a why MPL diminishes because uh, tingnan mo na natin yung uh, no, I shorten na yung time para ito maglisod o ito maglisod o uh, balik-balik kung asan napita ang discussion so I think that is all for the uh, today's uh, meeting and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, continuing our discussion on next meeting so thank you so much